This video shows how you can use Lightshow Pro and adapt existing sequences to work with a pixel-based display. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and say New Media Sequence. I'm going to go ahead and pick out my uh, audio that I'll be using. I am going to go ahead and use my default controllers from a template that I've created. I'm not going to add any intervals. I'm going to go ahead and take all the rest of the defaults. Uh, Lightshow Pro will open up in one tab. The sequence editor here is the current uh, song. And you can see there's no timings or anything. We've got several thousand songs on here, as you can see, lots and lots of channels. Um, so what I'm going to do is take a very basic sequence, in this case, the Holiday Coro uh, Singing Monster sequence. I'm going to go ahead and import it. It's an LOR format. And because there's tons and tons of LOR songs, the only key here is that you need to make sure that the song audio is the same so that it easily matches up. So we're going to go ahead and take the sequence. We're going to get a prompt about the audio. Click OK. Select the audio. And again, we're using the same audio for both the new sequence and the old sequence. Again, great if you're just transferring over same songs. Now, here we have LOR controllers. You can see this whole sequence is just uh, three, different LOR se three different LOR controllers. So what I'm going to do is go in here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just select, starting from the beginning of this sequence, I'm just going to go ahead and take this section. I'm going to go over here, copy. I'm going to bring it back over in here. Now, this doesn't have to be a one, one, one for one, like here. I could paste it. This is an reg, a regular controller. Or I could actually paste it into a, into a pixel-based item. Now, I'm going to go ahead and just paste this into a regular item. I'm just going to select the area, select Paste, and I'm going to be sure to say Clipboard Timing. So it's going to carry over the timings from the original sequence. I'm going to hit Paste, and there you go. You can see that it's already put in the exact timings I need. Now, here's another example where this is useful. Say, for example, in this case, we may have one individual track here that was maybe one element at a display before, maybe the lights on the front of your house. It was always one channel, and you want to be able to mimic that and reuse that on a new display. So what I can do is go in here, copy, and I could go in here to the root, if you will, to the top of this control. Let's actually pick a bigger one here. Here's a large control with lots of pixels. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here, okay, select paste, clipboard timings, and so now you can see that it's added those timings. Now. It doesn't allow you to actually use the capabilities of those pixels, but if you're very quickly trying to bring them over, it can be quite useful. And this allows you to copy and paste between things that have sequence, uh, sequences that have channel counts that are same. So if your old sequence, let's say for example, had a uh, chase sequence in a arch, what you could do is go ahead and apply that to an element. Let's say you've got an RGB element and you've got eight of them. Well, guess what? You just copy and paste it right over. It comes right over. Uh, of course, you can also import and use the sequences as normal. Just import them as you would expect. Now, sometimes it's confusing. I'll just pass this along. This button up here, if you're ever trying to export to LOR. So that import button's right there, big prominent. Export, not so prominent. Export and then to LOR sequence. Now, that will allow you to use your sequences, sometimes with modification, sometimes not with modification. Um, allow you to export to LOR2 LOR format, allowing you to use them with X lights. Hopefully, this has helped you.